Hi, Dr. Santora. I'm Sherry from Reno, Nevada. Should I avoid medications with salt in them? That's a great and very important question. A teaspoon of table salt has 2,300 milligrams of sodium. That's the maximum amount of sodium you should take per day in your diet. And some medications like Alka-Seltzer, these are effervescent tablets that have sodium bicarbonate in it and aspirin. They're very effective in relieving headaches and indigestion. And the reason why they're so popular is because they work very quickly. They work in about 5 or 10 minutes versus 40 minutes for taking a separate aspirin. The problem is the maximum dose per day is about four tablets. Each tablet is over 500 milligrams of sodium. So four of these, the maximum dose per day is over 2,000 milligrams of sodium, more than you should take all day long, not including the food that you're going to take in. So they're very high in sodium. So if you're on a salt-restricted diet or a sodium-restricted diet because you have high blood pressure, because you have kidney problems, because you have congestive heart failure, or whatever reason your doctor wants you to restrict sodium, you should avoid these types of tablets and read the label on the product and see how many milligrams of sodium that it has. As an alternative, you can take a, a plain old uh, antacid like Gaviscon and you can take aspirin separately and your sodium intake will be very, very low. One thing that you don't want to confuse when you're looking for sodium is sodium in the name. A lot of medications, they're bound to sodium. For instance, this is Coumadin. That's the brand name for warfarin sodium, a very popular blood thinner. Even though it has sodium in the name, the amount of sodium you ingest with this part of your dietary sodium is very, very small. So you don't have to avoid this in a sodium restricted diet. This is naproxen sodium, a very common painkiller, anti-inflammatory drug, has sodium in the name. It will not increase the sodium in your diet. This is a very popular stool softener, Colace, the brand name, the generic is Ducasate Sodium. It's a molecule part of the product, but it will not increase the sodium in your diet. So read the labels carefully, avoid the effervescent type of medications if you're a salt restricted diet, there's great alternatives, and make sure you don't avoid a drug if your doctor tells you to just because it has sodium in the name. Great and important question, thanks for asking. Be sure to send me your questions 